All right. Yesterday in class, we were looking at trying to see the uh, casing on the door, and we almost got there, but not quite. So I do a quick recording here to show that to you. But here's here's the uh, wall and a door in that wall. We click on that door, and we say Edit Family, and then we click on the casing. And we come over here to the visibility graphics button. There we can say where we want to see the casing and which views. The plan, the re re reflected ceiling plan, uh, the front and the back, the left and the right, and also here on the uh, floor plan. So let's try that and say OK. And let's just load that back into the project and look what happens. We'll overwrite the existing version. And OK, I've played around with the thickness of it. Um, so we have to do change the thickness of it now. We'll change it back uh, to the door is two inches thick. And then we come down here to the trim projection. And I just say it's an inch here. OK. And what else do we have? Uh, the same with the interior projection. So we're going to do that. We can't see that on the, on the one side right now. And then the trim width. Uh, let's make it uh, 5.25 inches. Okay, let's see what happens there. All right, so there's our trim, but you can't see it on the other side. Back again, edit the family. All right, now we'll select the trim on that side. Go over to the visibility graphics, and again, we'll say, all right, let's take a look at it. Load it back into the project. We've changed the family. We'll overwrite the existing. Now we have it on both sides, and you can see that in the demonstration, we could already change the, the trim that we wanted there. So um, there we go. That's what we were trying to do. We almost got there yesterday uh, in class, but I, uh, you know, I, I, know, I knew that's what we wanted to do, but we just missed that last step of the visibility graphics. So that's it.